This is my panko encrusted garlic whip rack of lamb using Ocean State Pepper Company's Mainly Maple and Salty Little Devil. So now we're going to take our Barala's garlic whip and we're going to make sure we cover our meat thoroughly <clears throat> on all sides. You want to cover the, the uh, back as well. And we want to get between the bones. There is some meat down in there. And of course, when you like chewing on those bones, you want to get that incredible flavor rather than just chewing on something that's a plain old bone. So we take our Barala's whip and we coat it uh, liberally on both sides. Here you can see that uh, I'm rubbing it in after applying it with my uh, spurtle. And then I'm going to put more uh, mainly maple and salty little devil on both sides and make sure you get the edges as well and those tips just like that. You want to make sure that everything is covered really well because we're going to be searing this rack of lamb uh, on all sides to get a nice light golden brown color. And once we finish off putting our brolas on the back and using our seasoning, we're going to go ahead and take it outside and we're going to go ahead and give it a sear in our hex clad pan. Using the meat stick, you can see here we have it in the inside of the meat on one of the racks. Uh, 375 degrees is the goal and we want our pan set at medium heat. You do not want to go beyond medium. You will burn things. And the idea of this is to actually sear the uh, panko crumbs, get that butter encrusted on there, and not burn anything, including the Barala's garlic whip or your butter that you put in the pan. I use a couple tablespoons of butter. Helps with the searing process. Gets that nice little golden brown color. And here you can see I uh, spoon it over the rack of lamb. You don't want to soak it in really wet. You just want to have it nice and light. And then when you're done, that rack of lamb should be really nice and golden brown, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and start the second rack. You can see the meat stick is inside there. I'm monitoring the temperature the whole time on my cell phone. And uh, one of the things that's really important with rack of lamb is you don't go over the 135, 136 uh, magic number. That is in Fahrenheit. That is for a perfectly uh, medium rare lamb. I think that's the best way to serve lamb is medium rare, not medium and definitely not rare. And as I finish up my lamb, I'm going to be watching that temp on my meat stick. Make sure I have positive movement. And here we go from 79 to 80, which is great. So I'm about 80 feet away from the Meat Stick X. This is the new X that I haven't used, Bluetooth extender built in. I gotta tell you, you know, it works. I mean, it works. I'm at the front of the house, way in front behind where the barbecues are, and the Meat Stick X is definitely working. I went inside the house, walked around, which I can never do uh, beyond my double glass doors with other Bluetooth devices. This one works as well. So I don't know what they've done. Fantastic technology, it's working well. And let's get back and see how that lamb's doing. We're gonna actually flip around here and go to the front of the house. And I'm gonna take you around here, show you kind of how we're going. Now in front of the house, I was about 120 feet at the fence, 88 feet. And so you could see that Bluetooth uh, transmission with the Meat Stick X was absolutely incredible. I mean, through the house, this is all concrete uh, and uh, rebar. I did an extension with some steel beams in the back. Worked fantastic outside. Uh, here I'm coming around to uh, take a look at the Outdoor oven holding my rack of lamb. Absolutely fantastic, 136 degrees right where I want it. And we're gonna take that off, take that in the house, cut it up, and we're gonna have an amazing dinner. The uh, Meat Stick X really, really did well. Um, as always, impressed with all of the Meat Stick products. And here in the kitchen, uh, after letting it rest for 10 minutes, we have our fantastic rack of lamb. There's the Meat Stick X, which I removed. Look at that golden brown crust, absolutely fantastic. Taking my first cut, I was just blown away. I mean, look at this, absolutely perfect medium rare. This is how lamb is supposed to be served. Um, absolutely just wonderful. So get out there, get your rack of lamb, season it up and have a good time. Put a smile on my face, that's for sure. Thanks for watching and follow me on other lives at Ukulele J Barbecue. See you soon.